growing vegetables in sacks and containers is very easy whereby you can do this by yourself. It does not require a lot of skills for you to do it. For example here, these are the grade 5 pupils who have done this amazing job growing this kumawiki in sacks and the containers. I just gave them the procedure to follow and I demonstrated to them how to do it. Then finally, this is the result. So this means even you out there, you can be able to do this and feed your family with the fresh and the healthy vegetables. Here are the steps. You need a sack of any kind as you can see here, these are different sacks that these kids have used. It is not a special sack for doing this work. It is any sack you have in your house. Like the one after you finish your rice, or chicken feeds, or sugar, like this one. Also, cement sack but for the cement sacks you must wash them thoroughly before using them because the cement is not good for your health and the health of the vegetables now here are the steps. After having your, your sack, look for the small stones. Then sand, good soil, and any kind of manure, chicken manure, goat manure, cow dug manure, name them. Mix well the soil and the manure you have at a ratio of one to one, but it depends on the fertility of your soil. You can use one to one or one to two. That means one speed of manure to two speeds of soil. After that, mix well your soil and the manure. Fold your sack into half. As you can see, this one is folded into half. The reason being is to make it stronger. 
all to last for longer because it's going to have double layer. I hope you understand what I mean. After folding it that way into half, put your small stones in the sack. Just about 15 centimeter, a layer of about 15 centimeter from the bottom. Had another layer of sand about 10 centimeter on top of the small stones. The reason using the small stones and uh, sand is for good hydration, drainage in the soil so that the water in the sack can drain well. Also, the plants all the vegetables to have good circulation of air in the sack and in the soil. After that, add your well prepared soil, the one you mixed it with the manure up to almost the top like this one you can see then from there you can plant your seedlings of any kind of vegetable you want. But remember the number of uh, vegetables planted per sack depends the variety of a vegetable you are going to plant. For example, this kumawiki you can plant as many seedlings as you can, like five or six seedlings, because you can also plant at the sides, like this one, and then at the top. Here, you use a knife to cut the sack and then make a hole, plant your seedling there. Symbol. Now, after planting like that, you need to take care of your vegetables following the right gardening practices, e.g. watering them well, mulching. As you can see, my kids have mulched very well their vegetables. Using dry grass, The importance of mulching is to conserve moisture in the sack or in the soil, mostly during dry days or seasons. Also, they help you to use 
little water because of the conservation of the water. When this mulch rots, they become manure for your vegetables. Since they were transplanted, they are only two months old. And these are the steps I gave my kids. And so far, so good. This is the best result. They have managed to produce. Let us involve our children in this kind of activities because they will remain in their lives forever and they will have a skill that will help them in future and with their families. A child like this one who have done all this will never lack something to eat even if they don't have a big piece of land because they can use their creativity innovation and they get the food on their table thank you very much my good people for following me each and every day and I know you have learned something from this lesson. My name is Orina Dominic and be blessed.